guess what? Guess what? You have no reason to feel down. You know why? Because you're alive and well. You have no reason to feel down. You have no reason to feel defeated. Because it is another day. But it is not just another day. It is a new month. It is a new month. It is a new day. Praise the Lord. And there's something different about you this morning. There is something different about me this morning. There is something different about us this morning. Amen. There's something unique about you and I. There's something wonderful about you and I. There's something magnificent about you and I. Listen, whether you like it, yes or no, there's something different. Amen. Oh, I rose up to tell you there's something different. Are you hearing me this morning? There's something different. Amen. There's something different. Even with Micaiah, I see something different. You know, now when you're trying to give him something that he doesn't like, he will just throw his hand. Oh, that could preach, Sister Diana. Get into ten months. When he doesn't like something, if you're trying to give him something, you don't. You just use his hand. You pull it away. When I was bathing him just a few minutes ago, and I was trying to, you know, just clean his face, he didn't like it, so he just pulled the sponge away. And I had to fight to take it out of his hands. I had to fight to take it out of his hands. Because listen to me, you know, those of you who, who've had the experience before, you know, the babies are strong. You know, when they grab the hold of something they, they, and they don't want to let go, they don't want to let go. You have to fight to take it off. I'm like, hey, give it to me. You understand know what I'm saying? Even at that age, see verse 83. Even at that, when they don't like something, Sister Winita, they will just. You understand? And, and, and when, you know, when now you're giving him something, right? And he's ready. He will take it off you and he will eat it himself. He's letting you know that he's strong. He's letting you know that he's not the baby that you once had. You see what I'm saying? He's letting you know that he's thinking. And so where you was yesterday, you're no longer there. Amen? Where you found yourself yesterday... You're no longer there. You're no longer there. Now when he doesn't like something, you know the battle that I had with him last week. I had a battle with him because when it was time to eat. See now, he knows he's got teeth. So when he's not ready or when he doesn't want it, he'll just... Letting you know that, listen, you can't force me to eat. I don't like it. Just clench his teeth together. He understands the power that he possesses, even at that age. Things that he don't like. Uh-uh, you can't force me now. So that, not, not, not even his mouth, his teeth. You know, like, you know, he's got, uh, he's got about two, three teeth at the bottom and two, two at the top. So you just and try, try as much as you can. So this morning, I want you to know you possess authority and power. I want you to understand we possess power. We possess authority. We have a mandate. We have an agenda to follow. A charge to keep you have. A charge to keep I have. In Jesus' name. Come on. I want you to open up your mouths this morning and thank him. Let's give the first October to him. Okay? Let's give the first of this month to him. Not praying for anything else. But saying, Father, 
We are giving this day to you. You deserve it. Today belongs to you. You deserve it. Today is your day. You deserve it. And we are acknowledging it because it is yours. It doesn't belong to anybody else but you. So take it, God, and do what you do best with the day. Take it, God, and do what you do best. We give this day over to you. Anything that we are going to do, we say, God, take it. Take it. We give this day to you. Amen. Let's give this day to him. Let's give this day to the Lamb of God. Let's give this day to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Let's give this day to the Messiah. The one who can never fail. Let's hand over this day to him. That will be the most sensible thing we ever do. Let's hand it over to him because guess what? When it is handed over to him, there's nothing that you might want to pray for that he will not deal with when he's given the okay to come into the day. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Messiah. Thank you, Elohim. Thank you, the one who cares about me. The one who checks my breathing when I go to sleep. The one who doesn't wait for me to get into emergency. My God, he doesn't wait for me to get into a critical situation. He is always with me. He is always there for me. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lamb of God who knows my life, the Lamb of God who knows everything about me, the Lamb of God who considers me, the Lamb of God who is concerned about my thinking, about my state of thinking. My God, He is concerned about you. That's what I'm letting you know this morning. I'm rising up this morning on the first to let you know it doesn't matter what state. You went into sleep last night. Today is a brand new day. You do know that, right? Today is a brand new day. Today is a unique day. Today is a wonderful day. Today is a blessed day because you are in it. And the last time I checked, somebody please, just, just, just correct me if I'm wrong. Did your daddy ever say, this is the day that the Lord has made? Did he ever say that? Does the word ever say that? This is the day that the Lord has made. And what am I going to do in the day that he has made? What are you going to do in the day that he has made? Sister Latasha, what are you going to do? If he has made the day, what are you going to do in the day? Don't let him just waste his time making the day. Bless the Lord. When your daddy, when your parent, when your mother, when somebody who is, you know, who has a loving relationship with you, Okay, if they set a table before you, the worst thing you can do to them is to refuse to sit at the table, Dr. Donna. Dr. Donna, if I tell you, come to my house, I've laid a table for you, come and enjoy. The least you can do is to honor the invitation, come and sit there, and whatever is on the table, you have the liberty to take it as your own. So your father who, listen, he is better than any parent. You know, sometimes some people have a challenge receiving or seeing God as a parent because you had a bad relationship with a parental figure. You had a bad relationship with the mother. You have a bad relationship with your father. Some of us were given up for adoption. Some of us were abused by that parental figure. So it is difficult to see God as that father or as that, or as that mother. But listen to me, I want you to understand. Give him the chance. Give him the opportunity because, listen, whatever any human being has done to you in the negative, God will never, he will never, ever repeat that cycle. And so I want you to rise up this morning. I want you to wake up this hour. I want you to declare over yourself. October, I will sit at a table which has been prepared for me by my daddy. I will rest, I will celebrate at the table that my daddy has prepared for me. And at this hour, I usher you and I push you into destiny. 
I push you into purpose. I push you into favor. That is what October will bring to you. That is what October will bring to you. That is what October has for me. That is what October has for you. No death, no burials, no sadness, no confusion, no rejection, no amputation. Nobody will be disfigured in this month. I said, nobody will be disfigured in this month. Let me say that again. I said, nobody will be disfigured in this month. Nobody will injure you, will cause you pain internally and externally. We come against those that fight, that spirit that tells them they look one way when it is not true. I celebrate your victory. I celebrate your victory. Ha! I celebrate. That is the word right there. I said, listen, nobody will be disfigured. Nobody will be paralyzed. In a car wreck, accident at work. Nobody will fall off a ladder. Nobody will, will lose their balance and fall. We suspend, we rebuke, and we reject that assignment. I demand you to prosper. I place a demand and an injunction on you. There is a mark on you to prosper. There is a mark on you to be victorious. There is a mark on you to be a blessing. And nobody can take that away from you. In the name of Yeshua the Christ, the Son of the living God, may your efforts bring you results. I said, may your efforts bring you results. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the table be set before you. You know why that table has been set before you? Because there is just some people who need to know your level. Who need to understand that you are different. You are a child of the Most High God. And there's nothing that the devil can do about it. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now I lift up the giving for the month of September. Let it be sacrificed to Jehovah. Let it come before you, God, and release that incense, that sweet smelling aroma. And let it touch our giving so that you can be the recipient of that which we have given and sown. We anticipate a great harvest. We are blessed and highly favored because of you. So let it be unto us as you have decreed and declared. In the name of Jesus, we love you and we thank you. Wonderful Savior, perform miracles in our lives and let our lives be transformed. In the name of Yeshua the Christ, the Son of the living God, Everybody under the sound of my voice, listen to me. Don't drop off in October. October, November, December. Listen to me. One thing that I do know in the realms of the spirit, anytime there is going to come the end of the year, just like in most industries, there is a you know, there is like a budget allocation when the year started. And as the year draws to a close, there is an audit that goes on to see if the budget has been met, if certain targets have been, you know, carried out, if some of the monies have been used up and there are some projects that it can be used up, you know, to, you know, the money will be, you know, used quickly, whatever it is. Listen to me. 
because we have been praying from the beginning of the year you have got to understand it you'll be silly if you don't know this you have frustrated some plans of the enemy so now one thing that will come into your mind hear me is that you'll be getting this thought you don't need to pray no more come on i've been praying all year come on give it a rest relax go to most countries most accidents most car wrecks are reported around the november and december season because that is when most people relax and think it's celebration time and so those that the enemy couldn't take out in january those that the enemy couldn't take out in june because some people were on their knees crying to god when it hits the months of october november this they don't pray no more so they give the enemy the opportunity to come and wipe them out and so please please don't allow that holiday vacation spirit to creep up on you in the last three months of the year you hear me don't allow it wow sister nicole don't allow it this is shame that is a trick of i've seen it so many times Every most countries around you know October, November, December, because everybody's in a relaxed mode. He couldn't take you out at the beginning of the year because you were praying. You know, most churches generally fasting and prayer. You know, then you work your way in, into the year, and then you pick yourself up. Now it's coming to the end of the year. You feel like oh, I've done it all. Let me relax now. Oh, it's wonderful. That's what whilst men slept. But you and I will not sleep. So those of you that understand, listen to me. Even if you are unable to catch a replay, pause for two seconds, one minute in the corner and pray. Do you see what I'm saying? Trust me. If you're going to work and you're late, you're already late. Don't try. Don't speed. You're already late. Calling away, you know, calling ahead of time. Say, hey, I'm going to be late. Let, let them get mad. You're preserving your life. And I say this to you, listen to me, you have got to understand some of us, some of you, the only reason why that company is still in operation is because you're there. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not talking about your position. You can be the most lowest paid person in that company. But I'm telling you that because of your praying and your giving, that is why that company is still standing. Let them mess with you and see where the fortunes of the company will end up. So listen to me. If you're going to work and you're late, He's calling ahead of time. Tell him, listen, I'm late. Don't lie. T -t Tell him I'm late. I will get there, but I'll be late. Don't, don't speed. Don't do anything illegal. When you're late, you are already late. Are you hearing me? That's for somebody out there. Don't speed. Don't go and end your life for the sake of, you know, a few dollars, pounds, whatever, whatever your currency is. When you are late, you just tell them, hey, I'm late. I'm going to be late today. I woke up late. Whatever it is, my children were acting up. Just tell the truth. Let them get mad. Let them write you up. God is fighting for you. God is looking out for you. Amen? Amen? That's what I'm going to leave you with this morning. God bless you. I pray peace over your mind. Peace over your mind, over your brain. Will think right. Are you telling me? Are, are, you, are you hearing me? You you would think right. You will be about God. In the name of Yeshua, the Christ, the Son of the Living God. Receive your portion. Receive what the Holy Spirit has for you. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Thank you. And I just I just want to repeat it. Remember when we had our meeting. Uh, you know, we're planning towards a call to prayer next year. We have five states. Two, three confirmed. Okay? So, remember, we said that if we can, you know, I'm going to send out a, a form. We can give 57 every month for the next nine months. Ten months. Nine, ten months. We'll be able to clear all our expenses when it comes to it. Okay? Listen, Nicole, that's the least, God, that's the least thing God is already done. The kind of thing for God, that's the least thing for you to worry about. You hear me? Trust me. Have boldness. Pray. Walk into the car lot. Whatever you want, just go and get it. It's for you. The metal that they use to make the car, it is your daddy who owns it. 
every part of that car your daddy made it. This is the day. Do you understand? Everything that is in that car, it was made in the day by your daddy. So be bold. Okay? Decree it. Go for it. You hear me? Go for it. Just go for it. You know, always make sure that your papers and everything are in the right, you know, just go for it. Okay? In Jesus' name. Whoever is in coma, we pray for that person in Jesus' mighty name. May they hear the voice of the Lord. May they hear the angels minister and sing to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I agree with my sister who needs transportation. And I agree with that person that's in coma. I agree with those who are on their sick beds. What human beings cannot do, the opportunity has now arisen for you to conduct that surgery. Put on your surgery clothes, God. Step into time. Step into that hospital. Step into that emergency room. And just breathe on them. Breathe on them. Breathe on them. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I love you. I'd love to hear from you, okay? Always drop me an email. Let me know how you're getting on. There's a conference at my church this week. You know, Bishop Francis is going to be coming. Remember last year around this time, Bishop Francis was here? So Bishop Francis is coming. So I'm excited about that, okay? So I'll keep you updated. I'll keep you informed, okay? It's going to be wonderful. I'm going to have a blessed time in Jesus' name. So pray for me, okay, as I pray for you. Listen, please, if everybody would email me, I'll be so happy. Don't be quiet. It's always a pleasure to hear from you. Sister, I think it's Samantha, I was supposed to call you yesterday. I was at church. Okay, I apologize, okay? Thank you for being patient with me. You know, God is still working on me, right? God bless you. Destin one, God bless you. Don't tell me blessings now. Just send the email. It's, it's good. Just say, God bless you, man of God. I love you, I appreciate it. That's all. Come on, don't be like that. Okay? I love you. This Diana. Mickey says hi, he's sleeping. Mickey says growing. You know, so it's like combing it is like, you know, and I'm and I'm not gonna cut his hair. I made a vow to God. He, he will grow his hair. So pray for me, okay, says Jacqueline. Pray for me. You know. But he's a good boy, you know. I love him. I love him. Mr. Diana, I apologize, okay? Let's try and see if I if I can squeeze in this week. Okay, I apologize. But I'll try and see if I can squeeze in this week. And you know, because my wife has been going out because she's been a bit busy, even yesterday she had a meeting. You know, like I say this, I say this proudly. You know, I'm 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 Mickey's favorite carer. <laughs> I spend all my time with him. So I just sit down there watching him. Be watching him, be laughing. I'm like, what's so funny? What are you laughing at? Yeah, I just sit down watching him. You know, I'm just amazed by what God has done and what God is doing. You know, he's a wonderful, wonderful baby. He doesn't cause any trouble, you know, he just just, just enjoying his presence. Okay, so uh, thank you so much. Okay, thank you for understanding and the patience. Okay, I promise you, I'll fix up. I love you. See you later. Santa Fe, New Mexico. God bless you, man of God. I pray, I, I pray you join us again. I appreciate you. New Mexico. I don't think I ever went to New Mexico. I don't think so. Where is New Mexico again? New Mexico. Where is that? It's not in America, right? It's in America. God bless you. Later. Where is New Mexico? I'm, I'm trying to find out where New Mexico is. Where is that? It's in America. Oh, okay. West of Texas. I've been to Texas before. Dallas, Texas. But I've, I've not been to New Mexico. America is big, you know. I got, I got more states to visit when the, when the Lord gives me the opportunity. So, hey, family, as you know, I love you. I'm praying for you. Pray for me. I can I can never pronounce that name, you know. Albuquerque. I, I've never been able to pronounce that name. Maybe maybe one day God will let me go there. Texas is hot. Ooh, Texas is too hot for me. So, family, okay, I'll... Um, Let's see how tonight will go, okay? 
Chair starts at about 5.36 my time. So I'll see how it will go, okay? I love you. Drop me an email. My sister in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Drop me an email. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I pray that the prayers help you. Sister Mary, thank you so much. God bless you. Jesus. El Paso. El Paso. I don't think I've been to El Paso before. Sister Brenda, to all the Brendas, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Albuquerque. Some of these names, man. Some of these names are just weird, like. But you know, some of them are not like English. You know, like some of them are Spanish and, you know, if you look at the history. Yeah. God is good. Okay. Let's just love the Lord. Okay. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you tonight. God willing.